Energy costs. Energy costs are becoming a much bigger part of a homeowner's budget. What we're watching is Duke Energy increase rates five to 7% per year. You can go ahead and ride that wave and see that increase. You can change your lifestyle to adjust to Duke Energy's time of use rates, or you can invest in solar energy and battery storage to manage those time of use rates for you. So time of use is actually something that's really common in other countries. It's really common if you lived in California or New York, you'd be more used to it. North Carolina, it's a, it's a newer concept. What it is, is Duke Energy realizing that there are certain times of the day, certain seasons of the year, when energy demand is gonna be a whole lot higher. And their goal with the time of use rates is to incentivize you as a homeowner to not use energy during those high peak demand times and to rather use it in times when they may have extra energy and they sell it to you at a cheaper rate. So staying the course is going to be what most people end up doing because they don't realize there's other options out there. Staying the course is just saying, hey, this is just part of what it costs to live in a home. I'm just going to pay more each year. And that's just a fact. We don't believe that to be true. If you don't like the idea of rising energy costs, you can begin to work with Duke Energy and try to game the system and change when you're using energy. What that could mean though, is that it's six o'clock and you want to do your laundry. Nope. You got to wait till 10. It's 5 AM in the morning. You're getting up. Oh, you shouldn't turn your heat on quite yet. You want to wait a little bit when it's cheaper. If that works for you, that's great. For most of my clients that I talk to, that's not something they want to adjust. Time use can work, but you're often going to end up spending a lot more money on post-it notes because you're going to throw a post-it note on the dryer. You're going to put it on the oven. You're going to put it on the thermostat. You're going to put it on all these different things to remind you of different times, be it winter or summer or Monday or Saturday. It's predictable, but it is difficult. <laughs> One appliance that could help you with some of that time of use savings is your smart thermostat that most people already have in their home. Um, and that can adjust when the HVAC is running more or less based upon the rates from Duke Energy. But that's just one. You also have your water heater, your oven, your dryer, potentially your EV. So there's a lot of different things happening in your home that's going to make it so your whole family needs to be involved. With an investment in solar and battery storage, we can set up the system very easily so that it manages all that for you. So that you on a daily basis do not have to think about when you're doing your laundry. The battery with its programming is thinking about that for you. So you're seeing the savings from the battery operating at the right time. You're also seeing the savings obviously from the solar production. So you're getting both those sides and you're getting that energy resilient. So you've got that backup power in the event of a grid outage. So our job here at Southern Energy is to make sure you get the right size solar array, the right size battery system in your home, knowing that every home's energy needs are different. Every family has a different rhythm. What we like to do is talk to the homeowner about what their goals are, what kind of energy usage they have, what their needs may be from a backup power perspective. With that, we can size the solar, we can size the batteries, and also think about what your future energy needs may be.